this is just a quick little video on guiding you through um, the basics of using and creating a Twitter account and how you can use it to engage students and meet other people and professionals. All you've got to do to set up an account is enter a few details here. We've already done one at Westfield um, and created one for the P department. Uh, the address is Westfield PE Debt and then we input our password. Sign in. That will then take us to our home page which is here. Here you can see our timeline. This is um, where all the people that we're following, we can see their tweets. We can see here that we've got one follower request. Someone wants to follow us, so we've got to authorize who it is. Here um, are our tweets, the tweets that we tweet out. Now, we use it for all different types of things. This afternoon, we've been um, tweeting students while we've been down at Rother Valley, asking them questions, telling them when they've got to be back. Um, as you can see, how many boats on the lake, roughly how many meters in between certain control points, etc. etc. You can also see here that we've tweeted um, students' deadlines when they've got to bring money in, um, important uh, information about meetings, um, important information about whether students have got to bring the kit, things like that. Um, this tweet here in particular shows um, how we've tweeted out. Um, some information on a website that might help students with their pets um, that they've got to complete as part of the GCSE coursework. So you can put a link straight up to that. Um, uh, if you click on that link, that'll take them to all the help they need. So it's good for using things like that. You can post direct links uh, from other websites and things such as um, this is a podcast on somatotypes just to help the GCSE students learn and prepare for their exam. Here we've attached um, the GCSE assessment criteria and um, what we assess the children in practice right. And above it is a, a YouTube video of um, one of the students in action. The students can then look and assess that video uh, and grade it on the assessment criteria that we've given. So it's good peer assessment um, tools that students can use um, outside of school and, and help improve the skills that way. So that's just um, a few of the tweets that we've sent out and the, the way that we've been using it at Westfield. Like I say, once we ask these questions and, and put this information and tweets out there, students and other people that follow us um, can reply. And we can see these replies by looking at our app timeline, which is up here. You can see the app connect button. If you click that, this brings up all the replies in which we've been mentioned um, So you can see here some of the answers from um, this afternoon's question that we set at orienteering. Um, there's, there's lots of different things on here. I'll go through and show you a couple of um, the, the good ones. We've got students to upload videos and podcasts um, to Twitter, which we can then just click on instantly and watch and listen to in lessons. And like I say, you can get a feel for and uh, do some good peer assessment there and then on then. This tweet here from Connor Field, um, he's uploaded his audio boo that he did um, in an injury and sport lesson with me. So you click on that, it takes you straight to his audio boo. Click play, and then it'll play out. How to cheat a nerve bleed. A nerve bleed is cheated by pinching the top of the nose, standing up, and leaning forward, and not leaning back. So as a class there, you can play that, listen to it through the speakers, and then you can assess their work that they've done themselves there and um, that's just one way we could do it here's a video that Zach created um, on injury and sport these are good like I say it's something visual um, for the students to look at you click on that in lessons it'll come up on your screen straight away once you've created your account and as students you can watch and process the videos and here's one of the videos albeit it's sideways I'll, uh, Change and actually clicked on another video for you to look at. Um, this is one that Ryan in that did in lesson. Um, video on how to treat someone that's concussed. Here you can just see what they've done. So that in a nutshell is just um, a couple of the ways that we've been using Twitter within the department. I hope they've got a bit of information from it. Uh, if you want some more details, I can show you um, another time.